Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we'll use the definition in the Explode and Divide tutorial to create Shigeru Bond's paper pavilion. And in Rhino, I created a lofted surface from seven curves, which are all semicircles. And I'm going to set one surface to the surface I created. And I'm going to put this as wireframe so you guys can see the grasshopper geometry easier. And I'm going to unpreview this so we can see the points only. So t before we can start creating a system or our definition that we intend to create, we have to understand the points that we, we created in the previous definition. So I'm going to grab a panel and I'm going to put the points to this panel. And if you guys can see here, that each surface that we created before has four points. And each, now each surface has four points, zero to three. And now I'm going to I'm going to call out each point so you guys can see what happens. So to do this, I'm going to go to logic, go to list, I'm going to list item, and I'm going to connect this to the points. And then I I means the the item that we want to call out. Since it's every four, I'm going to grab a slider, and I'm going to go from I'm going to set the upper limit to be four to be three. I mean, and it's be integers, and press OK. And then I'm going to grab a post it to this too. So as you can see here, the first number is called out 0 0.9.0, 8.6 from the second panel here, 7.324 from the third panel. And if I were to copy this again and I go to 1 and I link this to the post it, now you can see that the first two numbers are called out because I said the first number of every panel which is zero in the item and the second number of every panel is called. So now here they're the same. So what can I do with these two points that I just pulled out? I can create a line between them which I'll go to curve, go to primitive and pull out the line button and I'll connect this to A and B and then unpreview these points and divisions. So now you have you have horizontal lines cutting across our surface. If I were to pull this to two, you can see now there are vertical lines between the surface. And if I go to three, now we have a spiral going through the points on the surface. So going if you look from top to bottom, it's going from right to left, the spiral I mean. And if I pull this down to two and I make this one, it will create the other spiral from if you look from top to bottom, is the spiral is going from left to right. So this is one way of creating our our diagrid structure. Another way to do to call out items is to use a call pattern, which is in logic. Go to sets, go to call pattern, and the call pattern lets you remove certain things from a list. Right now, by default, false, false, true, true. So if I were to put this in P it would call out, it will take away every the first two points of every number. So if I put the post-it to this, now you can see that I called out the first two numbers, 0 and 1, and it leaves 2nd and 3. So I'm going to manage, I'm going to right click and then go manage boolean collections. We want true, false, 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 which is similar to the item call out for 0. And if I were to copy and paste this, and I go in and edit this, and I switch the first one to be false, the second one to be true, and I connect this to the panel, now it's the same as originally when I had it as 0 and 1. So we're not going to use the item, we're going to use the call since the call has more potential for this type of structure. And the third call, I'm going to put true on the third, the third, um, third down. And the last one, I'm going to put true on the fourth down. Just like the item list. So now, if I go to curve and grab the line tool, and I connect the first call with the last call, and I copy and paste, and I connect the second call with the third call you have a faceted structure now with your surface. 
but since the paper or the Japan pavilion is curves on the surface we need to do something else we need to go to curve go to spline and grab the curve on surface button the curve on surface button asks for S which is the base surface which is our main surface from Rhino and I'm gonna create two of these and then you also need to connect it to the loft the loft one in case you're using curves so I'm gonna hold down shift and connect that to the loft button next it asks for the UV and we're gonna use the UV from these from the divisions so we're gonna reconnect these calls to the U and V direction so now the, what it does on the UV it lays out on the X and Y axes just unpreview these and then we're gonna reconnect the UV just like we connect the lines the first curve we're gonna connect it to the first and last call and then the second curve on surface connected to the second and third call so now we have curves on a surface that are similar to the paper I mean the Japan Pavilion by Shigeru Ban. I'm gonna crank this up to 30 and this to be 25 so you guys can see it better the last thing I would like to do is create a receiver and curve to these so I can bake bake the the wires or the lines in Rhino a lot faster if I ever need to use this definition again also having separate curves you can also pipe the curves so you can create the actual um, paper tubes that Shigeru Ban um, used and that's how you create a die grid or the the curve on the surface structure and thanks for watching